the feeling when you get on the pitch, just like you, there's no worries or anything. You just worry about the game and that's and that's it. I feel like I just leave it out on the pitch. Like I try not to have any like worries or like doubts like, that I didn't play my hardest. And so I just try to bring that, just bring out like the best in me. Like I just try to bring out, try to be better every game. And that's great news for Mountaineer fans because the best of Kadisha Buchanan is one of the best in college soccer. Her resume speaks for itself, and through it all, the Ontario native remains humble. I didn't expect anything. Even some awards I don't even know. Izzo tried to explain it to me, like, this is really good. Like, I'm like, oh, cool, thanks. Like, and I really enjoy, and I really, I'm thankful for the, all those awards that I got, but I, I'm still trying to push myself. I'm not gonna stay complacent with, though I just won that award. Uh, I don't need to try no more, so I definitely try to improve. Earlier this year, Kadisha's drive to improve made her an overnight celebrity in Canada. Over the corner, to a good area, and the header has gone in! Well, we asked the question, who could score? Kadisha Buchanan has answered that question. The centre-back with her first ever goal for the national team. I was really excited and really shocked that I scored that goal. and. The funny thing, I wasn't supposed to be in that position because it's kind of like a set play, you run your roll, and for some reason the ball hasn't, wasn't played in, and I was just like standing there in that spot, and I just jumped up and I just got a touch on it, and I redirected it to like the far post, and I was like pass hope solo. So then like after the game, I was with Ashley, and I was like, oh my gosh, I just scored on hope solo, and that was like, whoa, I was like mind blown. After spending the summer at the Under-20 World Cup, Kadisha is back with her Mountaineer family. And it's that word, family, that may describe her best. After all, she is one of 12 children. Like when I go home for like holidays, it's very welcoming. And even in soccer, they got me more competitive. Like I used to get pushed off the ball because all my sisters are like older than me. So I was like the youngest. And they definitely played like a huge part of my role like growing up, just making me tougher, smart, stronger, smarter. And it's that same family bond that sold her on committing to WVU. When I came here, I just felt very comfortable, like at home. So like Nikki Uza Brown was like my US mother. So I just felt that right off the bat and uh, just like this team is just so family oriented. It's just like I knew I wanted to come here. I just fell in love with West Virginia and I stopped looking and I just committed. From like freshman year, I felt like this is like my home, my second home, like my US home. The atmosphere, like what drives me, like so many fans come out to every single home game that we have, which is very, very cool. And you don't really see that in much of the schools here. So I think the goal is to obviously be back to back champions, even the season and the tournament. I feel like our team is a lot more stronger in depth this season, so definitely something to like work towards and like be excited for.